is the manger square the entrance to the church which is the most ancient active church until today and wait a minute I'm holding St. Joseph you can see the Armenian chapel and in front of you is the Greek Orthodox and let's walk a little to the entrance you can see the Catholic one then Catholic Greek Orthodox and the Armenian is on the other side are you listening to what I'm saying? <laughs> like this. then here you can see three gates the upper one is from the 6th century and then the low one you see only the uh, arch, the top arch is 12th century and the lower one is from the 18th century and that is from the Ottoman time called the humility gate the idea is that we will enter and we will bow a little bit then let's do that Wow. This is the narthex of the church and look at the beautiful Armenian door. And we're entering to the most important church or one of the most important church in the world. And uh, there's no one here. Look at the 44 columns. Uh, on top of it, you can see there Oh, um, 12th century painting of figures of holy people and important people as well. A little bit of the 12th century uh, crusader mosaic wall, a lot of it being destroyed later on. And they just finished renovating it. It's unbelievable. The only thing that is not done yet is the Greek Orthodox altar the wooden floor that you see here beneath it is the 4th century mosaic floor and when they renovated the church they found a lot of it suddenly they opened only a small part of it somewhere this is from the 4th century this is the most active church in the world what we see here is from the 6th century, mainly because at the 5th century, the Samaritan destroyed or burned down the church. Then at the 6th century, it was built again and used until today. We're, ent we're entering to the grotto through the um, Greek Orthodox part. And at the end, you will see Mary. <laughs> it's so sad to see us alone here. Look at Mary, Mary and the child. Uh, we, are, we are walking down. Yes, yes, yes. Then. The grotto of the nativity is downstairs. And how are you? This is where Jesus was born. I will say it again. This is where Jesus was born. I will say it again. That is the exact spot that Jesus was born. Now we actually are looking for a manger and this is a cave. At the ancient time, caves used as mangers. And if you will let me guide you, until the, I will take you to places like that, that until today people are using. This is a 14 star 
of uh, the nativity, the most important thing. And you can see that it's, uh, the inscription says that uh, that is uh, where Jesus was born, the son of Mary, and 1717. It's not, I think, the original one, but uh, it's the exact place. You can see the lamps that belongs to the Armenian, to the Catholic, and the Greek Orthodox. And if we will turn right, after Jesus was born, Mary wrapped him with clothes and put it in the manger, and now the ladies are praying there, and I want this them then. You can see the Holy Family in front of you. And I'm talking about the Holy Family, not only about Mary. Mainly because Joseph was with them. And certainly we're not talking a lot about Joseph. It's all about Mary and Jesus. But as a father, I can tell you that I'm always in the background. And Joseph helped Mary with Jesus. Jesus studied a lot from Joseph. Um, I heard that the Pope declared of this year as St. Joseph um, here than it is. And you can see here, can you take a picture of me? You can, you can see the angel without the, um, um, uh, Michael the angel without the wings because it's a little bit delicated here, but I'm delicated it to two of my best friends. Now it's a Betty and EJ. And that was blessed at the nativity. Oh, I'm fine. It's so good to see you. It's so good to see you. I'm in Easter place. I know probably a villain who loves to sing, who knows how to sing. That's, do you want to say hello to Betty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then this is William. I am one um, of them from Bethlehem. Yeah. I am working in Nativity Church with the Franciscan Fathers. True. 22 years. Yeah, and, and we are going to the to, to Santa, Catarina, Santa Catarina soon. Yeah, yeah, and 12 o'clock exactly. I know. And listen, he knows how to chant. He's got the voice of an angel. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you do have that. Then, I'm just, it's so good to see you. Uh, just a moment, uh, yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute. Then, um, that place, the mantra itself belongs to the Catholic, uh, to the Latin Church, or Roman Latin, and that's where we believe uh, Mary um, kept Jesus in a warm place with his new clothes. And remember the three Magi? Here they are. Here they are, right in front of us, and everything is so close, and such a beautiful place. I miss the Nativity Church, and thanks to you, I'm here again. And please come, come to Israel, come to Palestine. We are waiting for you. We are long. Then we are leaving the manger, the cave, heading to the Armenian chapel. Look how beautiful it is. And you can see the shape of the cross. Oh, how are you? Oh, it's so good to see you. <laughs> then you can see the shape of the cross. And just a moment. Look up here, it's from here, and they renovated it lately. You can see they have mosaic from the 12th century. And look at that, more mosaics from the 12th century. And we are leaving the church and entering to the Catholic part. We saw the Armenian, Greek Orthodox, and we're entering to Santa Catarina. Ah, this is the modern church that was actually built on top of 
Crusader Church at the Nativity uh, Christmas Mass. It, was, it will be from here. And I hope that this year there will be a million tourists. Look at uh, another important um, another important place. Wait a minute, I'm putting Joseph here as well. Joseph and the child. And this is the child, this is the nativity child. This is Jesus as a child. And um, at the 24th of uh, December, they will take Jesus from here straight to the grotto that you saw. I forgot to mention that in it, the manger, the original one, was taken by the uh, crusaders back to Europe, but Italy gave us a little bit, a piece, a small piece from the manger itself, the original one. Then, now when you saw Mary, and we blessed Joseph, I want to go in to the part B of the uh, grotto. But this time, it's from the Catholic part. Then you saw the grotto, the Greek Orthodox one. It's a little bit, I mean, it's quite famous. But that is not less famous. The grotto was one big cave. But because of the status quo between the Greek Orthodox and the uh, Latin Church, the Catholic, they divided it into two. Then you will see a wall, a new wall, that block the cave, um, block the entrance of the cave, that we have only we have only one uh, we, have, we have two caves of the nativity instead of one. Let me put Joseph me, remember the cave that you saw? If you will break that wall, you will reach straight to the nativity. And this is the chapel of Joseph. That's where the angel told Joseph, go away, flee immediately to Egypt. King Herod is waiting for you. Then for me, you can see here the angel tells it to Saint Joseph. Then if that's the year of St. Joseph, this is the place to bless uh, the father. And um, let, should we? Yeah. yeah. Then let me, let me help him. Then this is Joseph. At the chapel of Joseph with a child. But until we will organize um, Michael Angel, Angel of Michael, that is the door that if we will open it, we will reach the um, grotto, the other side. But there are so many things to see here. For example, we, we, we know the story. Um, King Herod wanted to find Jesus. Then he didn't know where Jesus is. And the three magi didn't actually help him. Then he decided to kill all the children from age two until um, day one. Those are, according to what we believe, are the innocent children tombs. Here and here. Ready? Excellent. It is beautiful. Take some pictures because I cannot do that. I don't know why. Usually I can take some pictures together while I'm videotaping it, but certainly I'm not. Then Betty, EJ, this is not another statue of, of Joseph, St. Joseph and the child. And this is not uh, another study of the angel, which is amazing. I look at the him, uh, it's killing the, uh, wow, you can see every 
curve. Okay, and is that from one? Yes, what? one log. One log of on board. And it's one of a kind. Can you tell us how you do that? They carve in a log. Yeah, but 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 I remember you told me about how to make it uh, the, the tree itself like a concrete. Yeah, what they do, they cut the log and they throw it under the sun and the rain. They have to at least five years, mm -hmm. so it becomes like a piece of a rock. It never cracks in the future, and yeah. It is, it, and it's it heavy. Can, yeah, and it's, it's lighter than it looks because no water inside the wood. Wow. Beautiful features on the face, amazing job, details. It's beautiful, unbelievable. Beautiful. It looks like wax. It doesn't uh, yeah, even look it, it, like yeah, shiny. And yeah, look at that yeah, dra yeah. Dra dragon that he kills. That he is saving so many people. The soldiers, for example, the adoring and and yeah, and that's a devil, of course. And and um, and the Catholic Church is there. He, he is their patron. But today it's but you, you are a father and I'm a father. You know when my child. Um, she's more connected to the mother because I'm working a lot, although I didn't work for the last two years. Um, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm in the background. Just like Saint Joseph, he's not, the focus is not, uh, is not about him. We don't know a lot about Saint Joseph. Uh, we don't know if he, um, what's the connection between him and Jesus. You know, some people believe that he was married to her, some people believe that he not. I actually love to, to accepting the idea that according to the proto evangelion of James, he is the saint who knew that Mary is alone and he took care of it, just took care of it. And when she got pregnant, Think about a Jewish child who's got pregnant and he lives very close to her, then you can understand what people actually will say about it. And he got the message from the angel, take care of the, her and the child. Then Saint Joseph, you're more than just a figure. And Jesus studied a lot from you. Remember you were the carpenter, a carpenter. I'm sure that Jesus actually helped you then he had excellent two right hands not like my hands then uh, thank you very much for your existence and, and just like um, today just watch of uh, watch on, on us we we need your protection as well and um, there's one family that I really love and I know that they have to sell their apartments uh, because of medical reason and to move to another place uh, and they want to find something close to one of those places that can cure them. Please take care of them. I know that for so many uh, people that had problems, you, St. Joseph, became their father in a way, just like you became the father of, of uh, Jesus. Took care of him. <sighs> that makes me cry. Then... Uh, Thank you very much, uh, St. Joseph. Thank you very much, uh, St. Michael. Another beautiful thing here is the crosses that I'm buying for you. And I'm actually visiting the places all around, usually in Jerusalem, but this time um, I could reach uh, Bethlehem, the Nativity Church, and I decided to take those crosses that I bought for some other people as well just to bless them here at the Nativity Church. It's beautiful, isn't it? Such a beautiful place. It's not the end of the church. Uh, they just cleaned St. Jerome. St. Jerome was another amazing guy that um, translate the Bible from Hebrew to um, Latin, Volgata, if you know that, this is because of him, of St. Jerome, and his tomb was here, but uh, before the, Christ, the crusader actually left uh, that place, they took him. Um, that was a monastery next to the church, and there 
and he told him, you are going to translate it and you won't die. We won't let you to die until you will finish doing it. Then Paula, she, it was kind of a monastery nunnery. She took care of him and the Empress was from there. And we will reach that place and it will be open soon. And let's leave the place. This is the first time ever that I'm here and there's not even one person, one tourist. Yalla, let's go. Let me take a... Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going out to the car. Wait a minute, I'm taking you, son Joseph, and the child. And we are going back to St. Catherine Church from Egypt. And now I'm out here. Oh, you're so heavy. I'll, I'm sure that it will be closed, but let's see. We're going up from here. We're going through the cloister. <laughs> it's so empty. Twelfth century cloister. Ah, beautiful. Close. Toilet are close. Yeah. Ah, look at them. Okay. St. George. Made of wood. man again Palestinian to God said please pray in the morning that you will be able to reach here soon because look you saw you saw the church I was the only tourist yes, no I, I'm not I was the only non-Palestinian yeah, <laughs> <You're a local. laughs> yeah I'm, because I'm a local it's yes, true <laughs> then see you bye bye, bye, -bye. See, you guys. see you guys All right, we did it. The Christmas tree is not here yet. You can hear the most important mask, Omar mask here. Uh, if you like that video, it's a little bit long, but I'm smiling like a child and you reach that part. Please tell me that you loved it. Oh, no, you, yeah, you loved it. You loved it. And um, please subscribe my channel. You are my tourist. Forever. See you.